To start the 13th round, Ostara is going to knock the stuffing out of this pillar because apparently that pillar has stuffing. But we're going to knock that down and then get ourselves ready to take on the air elemental. She gets to roll three yellow dice, and remember, any bams count as additional wounds, up to two of them. Ah, just three damage. Okay. Activation number two, she'll take out the pillar here. Yeah, that's more than enough. She finally knocked the stuffing out of this pillar. <laughs> Unfortunately, that took two actions, but that's okay. We'll just do for our third action, taking two moves to move right here, and we are very close to getting over to the air elemental. But we're also out of the way, so now when this air elemental activates, she won't be able to hit us. That works. Bajorn is next. So Bajorn is one step away from the room with these pillars. And they say to have those pillars act like enemies. So I think he can charge the pillars. I mean, <laughs> why not? I would charge a pillar. I don't know how well I would do it knocking it down. But so I think he can charge in here and attack with his first activation. You guys let me know what you think. Here's his attack dice pool. Let's see what he does. One, two, three, four, five. Boom! Takes that pillar out with a charge. Let's do that again, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Boom! Took out that pillar with a charge. Oh, actually, that one wasn't a charge. That was just a regular attack. Two things I forgot, you guys. First, should have flipped this. The fours now become inactive, and now the fives are active. That means we're going to be spawning level five guards, or we're going to be getting level five treasure. <laughs> yes. We also should be going and regenerating for one, so we have six health out of seven, because we have leveled up enough that we should get all the way to seven. I didn't do that for Ostara, but that's because she's already at max. She couldn't heal anymore. Here's the thing. I have one more activation. There's going to be no way that I can get all the way to where the Earth Elemental is. But in order for Ajax to do anything useful on his turn, I want him to be able to attack the Earth Elemental. But if he goes into here and attacks the Earth Elemental, the Earth Elemental is going to hit him hard with a pillar. <laughs> yeah, because he throws these pillars. So I think instead, since Bajorn has some nice defense, he's got a healing potion, he's going to use his final action to go inside and end here, adjacent to where the... Oh, you know what? Should I put him here or here? If I put him here, Ajax will be... No, 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 no. We're going to do here. We're going to definitely do here. Ajax won't be able to use his shadow abilities, but then Bajorn will, and I'm okay with that. Who's next to go is Ajax. So Ajax is going to take two steps, move into here, and then for his second and third activation, he's going to attack this Earth Elemental. And I don't know if I showed you guys this guy close enough. Look at him. Look at that. And he's holding those bricks. So cool. I know we looked at this a long time ago, but I thought I'd just show this again. First of all, 28 health, okay, 7 times 4. His ability is he gets the two pillars, and then when he attacks, the first two times that he personally attacks, he's going to throw those pillars at a range of 0 to 3. Ow. Okay. This does not help him at all, but he has a shield of 3, so that means he gets to roll 3 green dice for defense. So he's going to be hard to take down. Let's see if we can do it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to spend 1 XP going from 6 to five to be able to do this for our first attack. We are going to, if we roll a diamond, we get plus two bam. I want to hit him hard right away. First, remember we have sword and spell. Sword and spell is automatically going to give us plus two hits and we can reroll one attack or one defense die if we want. We also have tons of bam's abilities, so we'll just figure out what we're going to do based on what we get. That is the fun part of this game. Let's give him a roll. Right now, we've rolled absolutely zero bams, which stinks. We're doing one, two, three, four, five. He's blocking for four, so we'd only do one point of damage. So I'm going to re-roll one of these reds, hoping I can get a bam, or better yet, one uh, that diamond. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Oh my goodness, got the diamond and three more swords. So that gives us two bams. I think with that two bams, we're going to do the fireball, which gives us plus three hits. So we've got three hits and this one, 
Oh no, that's six hits. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So we're actually just gonna take out all of these for these four shields. But this is gonna do six damage to that earth elemental. Man, six points. That Ajax is just one powerful dude. Of course, the Earth Elemental still has 22 health. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's do one more attack. And we get a lot of crazy stuff, right? We got a lot of crazy stuff here. <laughs> Seven uh, shield, one, two, three, four, five, six damage. So we're not even going to hit them yet unless we do something with our BAMs. I think what I'm going to do first is I could re-roll this one, but I think I'm going to take a chance and re-roll the uh, red die instead because we've got more chances of getting something better. But I'm also giving up one hit. Let's see if it's a good idea. Yes, it was a good idea. Oh, I love when I make a good decision. Doesn't happen always. <laughs> okay, so now I got three BAMs to work with. Let me think about this. I'm going to use one of the BAMs for this magic ability. The hero or one ally in line of sight may heal, may heal by two. This means we're going to go from only having three health all the way up to five health, which is good because we might be taking damage, you guys. So that was this BAM. We're then going to use those two BAMs as plus threes. So the, those will be three damage. Oh, and I forgot to add plus two on my last hit. So I'm going to add plus four for this hit because of the um, spell and sword. I always forget about this one. Plus two hits. So I'm going to add plus four to this round. Shouldn't make a difference. So four plus these two um, bams is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 damage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 14 minus 7 is another 7 points of damage. 5 plus 2 is 7. So if I add those two together, he's taken 13 damage, 28 minus 13. He only has 15 health left. <laughs> only 15 health? Oh my gosh. So here I was thinking that Ajax was going to be safe. But if you read this, it says, instead of a normal attack, discard a pillar to make a range 0 through 3 ranged attack. So he is going to chuck a pillar at Ajax. <laughs> That's why I decided to heal Ajax, because Ajax has not very good at all defense. And this could be really bad. He might die. This could be really, really bad, because he's going to roll 3 yellow and 3 red by chucking that pillar. You know how much uh, Ajax is going to roll for defense? One blue die. Yeah, this could be bad. At least we're going to discard one pillar. And I know that uh, Bjorn is right in between them, but my guess is that this earth elemental chucked this thing over Bjorn because Bjorn hasn't done anything to him and instead focused directly on Ajax. <laughs> so that, that's my guess at least. Let's see what happens. And if you look at this, Ajax is so dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ajax only had five health. Oh my gosh. I just killed another hero. I brought Ajax into the game and he has an ability to bring people back to life because I thought he would be healing people. Not that he would die. <laughs> Darn it. Oh well. I played that way too aggressively, but if you think about it, the Earth Elemental is really hit hard here. He only has 13 health, so when, he, when Ajax comes back up between Ajax and Bajoran, I'm hoping that they can take them out. Ho or take him out. Now we're going to move on to Sybil's turn. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to spend one XP, so she now has zero XP to do one free move. And you'll see why I'm doing this. Here we have the blowgun runners, right? Here we have Sybil. Sybil, if she just did her two regular movement all the way, she'd end here to get over by the air elemental. But these guys would then activate, get one movement, and they'd move into here. They can then see her because there's nothing blocking line of sight, and they would attack range and could poison her. But getting that one free move... Yoink, it's going to move her here, and then one, two, one, two, one, two. That's her three activations, and she is now safe from those blowgun uh, blow runners. <laughs> that is close. Now that Sybil's turn is completed, we're going to do the enemy phase. Enemy phase, we're going to start with these enemies, and we're going to activate them. So they're all going to move into this room. Look line of sight, don't see any heroes. So then they're going to move all the way over to this room. 
Their goal is to come this way towards the starting tile. The air elemental is going to take two steps to be able to get out of this room. She's starting to go for the starting, t uh, the starting entrance tile, but she's going to find our two heroes right over here, and they're ready for her to take her out. Unfortunately, we could have a little more bad news here. This earth elemental is going to chuck this pillar at Bajorn. Bajorn only gets to roll two blue dice for defense. I did not think of this straight, you guys. I should have had Ostara with lots of defense come against the Earth Elemental. Bummer, why wasn't I thinking? I just had to do with positioning before. But I guess we're just going to have to hope that he does not get killed here. If he does, it's game over. Here's our dice pool. Fortunately, Bajorn does have six health, but it's only six health. So, And there's a lot of potential hits that could happen here. Let's see. Well, if you look here, that pillar does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. But we do one, two, three defense, plus we've got our chainmail armor on that gives us plus one defense with a bam. So that's four defense. So we actually only take four damage, which means we're not dead. And that was his second and final pillar. Thank goodness. Four health, though, is going to knock us all the way down to only two health. Oh, boy. We now move to the event phase. I think we got really lucky there, you guys. And we have Shadow Blessing. Heroes in Shadow Zone may heal one. <gasps> oh my gosh! If you look at Bajorn, who's still fighting the after effects of being hit by a pillar, <laughs> um, he is the only one that's in shadows that can actually use the heal. So he'll go from two health to three health. Whoopee! But you know what? The big thing is no bad enemy spawn. Thank goodness. I was really worried we were going to get another roaming monster. We're going to have to use our life bringer, and that will bring back to life Ajax. But that's our last life uh, token on there. So if anybody else dies, we lose the game. We can do this, you guys. We have to think strategically here for a little bit. I can do that. We've got a 28 health air elemental left. We've got 13 health left on this earth elemental, and his pillars are gone, so his big attacks have been taken care of. So now all we have to do is take those two out to win the game. Let's do it. We'll move the starting token over to Bajorn. Bajorn's going to go in there and attack that earth elemental. This is our 14th round. I don't think we have many rounds left. Let's get into it. So Bajorn is going to do his charge. Do you remember what his charge does, though, now? He can charge in there. He'll automatically do one wound by going into this location with the Earth Elemental, plus two additional wounds, and that's exactly what we want to do. So we'll charge in here. He's going to do a total of three wounds to the Earth Elemental. This Earth Elemental has 16 damage on him. We only need to do 12 more. 16 plus 12 equals 28, and that's what we need to do. 12 damage. Let's do it. I almost forgot to mention, spend 1 XP. We're definitely going to do that. We're going to go down to 6 on our XP so that we get one guaranteed hit for all three attacks that we're going to do. We have one less defense, but I am only somewhat worried about that. <laughs> okay, I am worried about that. But hopefully we can do a ton of damage, maybe even take them out here. And we regenerate 1 health, so we're at 4. Unfortunately, we're not in the shadow mode, which really stinks because we could do so many more damages with shadow modes. So this is taking a chance, but we're going to roll it see what we get. Come on. Oh my goodness. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He totally blocks that. Oh my gosh. That looked like such a good one, but it's not. Here's our second activation. We have one, two, three, four, five compared to his one, two, three for defense. So we do two wounds. We only need to hit him for 10 more. Come on. I know that uh, Bajorn can't do that, but I'm hoping that Ajax can finish him off. Here's the roll for number three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six to one, two, three, four. So we do another two points of damage. This Earth Elemental only has 8 health. Don't forget, we can still do our headbutt. So let's roll our one yellow die. Come on, do three wounds right here. Yes! Three wounds right there! One, two, three. Oh my gosh, that's like the same amount he did with an entire regular attack. Just by headbutting the guy. 
Apparently, he is nothing without his pillars. That earth elemental is down to five. Just five measly health. But he is going to attack Bajorn. The nice thing is, he does not have his pillars to throw, so it's just these three dice. So much better. Unfortunately, Bajorn gets to roll two blue dice, but he's going to have to negate one of his shields. So because of that, and because I'm really worried about him dying, I'm going to have him activate his healing potion. That's going to put him to full health. His full health is seven, so he is at full health now. And hopefully then, even if he takes damage, he won't die. Let's see what happens. Well, this isn't bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We do have to subtract one of these uh, shields because we were in blind fury that we used. But do you see this? He gets plus one for a bam. So that makes it equal up to four. So totally a wash. We didn't get hit by the earth elemental. Yes. For Ajax, first thing, using his enchanter signature ability, he goes down to 4 XP. This is why you have XP, so you can spend it to do this. And so if we roll a diamond, we'll get the plus 2 bam. We're also really hoping that we can get that fireball going, but we can't do any of our shadow mode effects because we are in a lighted room. But you know what? I don't even care. I just want to take out this earth elemental who killed me last time. Here we have our dice pool. We need to do five damage in three activations. So looking for that diamond right there would be amazing. I'm really hoping I get that. Don't forget, I get plus two hits. I'm going to put these two hearts there to remind me because I'm using my skill called spell and magic, whatever it's called, spell and sword. So we get plus two hits, and then I can reroll one attack or one defense die. And I want to roll one defense die this time, looking to get less shields. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. So Earth Elemental only has two shields. So that's going to take out these two. Now everything else is gravy 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 so we have one two three that is considered two bams so that's going to be my fireball which is another three points of damage three six seven eight nine ten oh yeah earth elemental history this is what you get when you kill me <laughs> i kill you that earth elemental gone and that gives five xp to every one of our heroes he also drops this orb of courage i'll set that there Ostara goes to 12 XP, Bjorn goes to 11 XP, Ajax goes to 9 XP, and Sybil goes to 5 XP. We still have two more activations, but I have to think about this closely. We have these guys over here that are going to get to here at the end of their next round. They're then going to see me if I'm in this row at all, but I don't think there's any way around that. I'm not sure... <sighs> I... Uh, this is the only bad part about splitting up, but I, I still think it was good that we split up. It's just uh, we got cut off, and it is what it is. We're going to have to deal with them next round if they still need help over here. So I think I'm just going to end my activation here because um, action two can go here. Action three, I'll go here. Then I'll have to start taking out those uh, poison gun runners or blow gunners next round. Sybil quietly thanks Ajax for giving her XP because she's going to use one XP to do her sprint action, which gives her one free move action. That means she'll be able to move right here. She still has all three activations, activations to shoot at this air elemental. We're going to be rolling nine dice here. This, I think, is the largest amount of dice we've been rolling. Four for Sybil for attack, and one, two, three, four, five for the air elemental for defense. But don't forget, we have our shadow mode skill, which if we get a bam plus two wounds, or not wounds, but damage, then we've got all these shadow mode abilities. So we've got this shadow mode ability where as long as we're attacking, minus two shields. And then down over here, we have safe shot. We're doing a ranged attack. Defender gets minus one shield. So we're going to potentially negate three shields this round. That's where she becomes so powerful. And if we happen to get no shields at all, plus one wound. But I don't think that's going to happen here. Nine crazy dice. Let's go. First thing, her eagle-eyed ability allows her to reroll all blanks. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's really, really nice. Okay. So, first of all, negates three shields. Done. 
Okay. Then we have all of these BAMs. This BAM is going to add plus two wounds. And I shouldn't say wounds, I'll say hits. I'll place them right here so I don't forget. This BAM is going to decrease this down to just two defense instead of three. And the third BAM is just going to look pretty. There's nothing else we can do there. So the total amount of damage, we've got two here. We'll take that off and take this off. They cancel each other out. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. That's a fourth of our health. If we can do that two more times, I will be very happy. Let's do roll number two. First things first, we get to re-roll this die because it's blank. Yeah, oh my gosh, that has just been really working out for her. That adds two more and another bam. <laughs> We're going to cancel out these two shields because we're in the shadow zone. We're going to use this BAM to create two more hits. And then we're going to use this BAM to cancel out this shield. <laughs> then once again, these two damage and these two defense cancel each other out. And we do one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Oh, not as much, but close. Six plus seven, though, is 13 damage. That means she only has 15 health left. Let's do one more roll. Here we go. Okay, this is not a great roll, but the nice thing is we get to re-roll these blanks. That is such a great ability. Oh, we got another blank, so that's not useful. But we did at least get this one, and we can negate two shields right off the bat because we're in shadows. We've got a safe range shot. We're going to use this BAM as two wounds, so or two additional hits. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, minus one is five. So we just did five more damage. She's got 10 health left. Here's the thing. She is not a slouch either. She's gonna roll three dice, three yellow and one red. And if she gets one bam, which is very likely, she's gonna push um, Sybil two zones away as if she had slippery. <laughs> That's crazy. Sybil, thanks to her plate of armor that's level four, is guaranteed one uh, shield already. So that's what this is. And then she gets to roll two blue and one green. So we're going to see how much damage that Sybil's going to take. Just looking at this, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Wow. Totally blocked. And she didn't get any bams. That means that she doesn't push Sybil away, which was perfect because if Sybil was going to get pushed, she then was going to potentially get poisoned by those blowgun runners or blowgunners. So it's really nice that that did not happen. Ostara is going to take two steps for her first activation into here, and then she's going to try and wail and get 10 damage on this air elemental. If she can do 10, we have won the game. Although Ostara is it's very likely she's not going to do damage here. She at least, because she has a shield and she has her almighty tank skill, she gets to have two guaranteed uh, hits. Plus, she's rolling these three yellow dice with potentials with bams to get more hits. But she's going against one, two, three, four, five shield dice. This is going to be interesting. Here's the first attack. Here we have one, two, three, four, Five, that bam is plus one damage, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six to one, two, three, four. So that means the air elemental takes two damage. She's at eight health. But I don't think that we're going to be able to win this round then. Here's her final action, roll number two. Here we have four attack, but four defense. So no hits on the air elemental. Bummer. Now the air elemental is going to counterattack. She only has magic attacks, so she's going to have to slip over here. She does have slippery, and then she'll be able to attack Ostara. Here's our dice pool. The air elemental, four attack. We've got our two green defense, but we come in since we have our shield bearer ability. We have two shields automatically. Hoping that this payback can actually come into play one time. That would be so nice. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus three hits. We now get to activate our payback effect. And that's going to do two direct wounds to the air elemental. Boom! That means that air elemental only has six health. Yeah. This completes the hero phase. So now we'll move to the enemy phase. So these blowgun runners, 
look to see, nah, there's no one that they can see. So they take one step here, look to see about attacking, still nothing. Take a step here, they see Ajax now, but they don't attack in that third zone that they move into. Or I guess it's really just the second zone that they move into. So they're ready to attack next round, and they totally block off the path for Ajax to go and help. Over here, we have our air elemental, gonna try and hit Ostara a second time, hoping here again we can use our payback. Here's our dice pool. Here's our two automatic successes on shields. Let's go. Yeah, I think it worked again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That's an automatic payback of two damage. So that's going to put her down to, what, four health. And then, and I couldn't remember, I totally forgot about this last time. We are in the shadows. And because we're in the shadows, we can do our shadow mode effect, which is this defense here. And it gives us, with a bam, inflict one wound to the um, attacker. So that means we've done another damage to that air elemental. She only has three measly health left. <laughs> I think we should just keep letting her hit attack Ostara. <laughs> Nobody's gonna level up, so let's go to the event phase. We'll draw this card, and we have unexpected monster. Spawn a roaming monster card. Place this enemy in the zone with the token of the current level plus one, or just current level. Yeah, this this is this isn't gonna be bad because I just don't think I'm gonna have Bajorn even attack it. Our greater monster, roaming monster, because now we're at level five, is the overseer. <laughs> I think someone asked about this in the uh, in the comments. Yeah, this is the Overseer. Okay, during the enemy's phase, instead of activating, Overseer activates the target hero as if it were a roaming monster. Ignore Clash Sheet for that. Whoa! That's why you wanted to see that. That's crazy cool and scary. And let's see. This is his treasure, his level 5 treasure. He has a meteor javelin. Oh, my gosh, 2-2. Two, two. He would be insane as a ranged enemy. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I'm not going to fight him. We'll place this crazy, crazy cool looking overseer right here. That'll end this round. I'm pretty sure this is an inevitable win, but we'll see. We're going to move to the 15th, and I'm pretty sure final round. Ajax is going to be the first player, but I think what I'm going to do, just because this has been a long enough playthrough, <laughs> I'm going to skip his turn and go right to um, Sybil and see if Sybil can take out that air elemental. If we can, game over. Let's start that 15th round. So technically it should be Ajax's turn. We're just gonna pass it because of time. We're gonna go right to Sybil. Sybil is gonna use her sp our, um, sprint ability. She goes down to three health and then she's gonna be able to move one space. Free move action, I like it. Now we get three tries to get, I think it's only four health that's left on that air elemental. I was wrong, it's only three health. Three health, that's all we need to do. This air elemental may have tons of shield dice, but it's not gonna matter against Sybil. Sybil in the shadows is insane. My guess is three damage right here, let's see. Looks like I was way too cocky. <laughs> we get to negate two shields because of our shadow ability, but one, two, three, four, only, only four damage and three shields. That is only one wound. This air elemental is still kicking, has two health left. Let's try this again. I feel it this time. First thing, we get to reroll our blank attack die. Nice. That'll give us one more damage. Then we'll negate two here. We've got two BAMs here. This BAM's gonna be used for two additional attack, and this one's gonna be used to negate another shield. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus two, seven, six. We just won the game. That air elemental is toast. Yes, we won the game. I'd like to first say thank you to anyone who's still watching at this point. <laughs> this was a long playthrough. I knew it was going to be long. Didn't realize it was going to be that long. But I still really enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. I really just appreciate you guys watching. You guys can see how this game works. It's a lot of fun. I think it's great with four players. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have a great rest of your day.